good day! Welcome to the video tutorial of the Computer System Servicing NC2. My name is Nolan M. Santiago II, TESDA National Assessor and Trainer. For today's video, we will learn how to disassemble and assemble our personal computer or computers. So, I'm hoping you will enjoy this video tutorial about our PC assembly and disassembly. Good luck to this assembly. Make sure that the computer system is turned off and disconnected from the power supply. Remove unnecessary hand accessories before disassembly. You will be needed the following tools. First, place the electrostatic mat on the work table. Put an electrostatic wrap grounding strap around your wrist and connect the other end to the unpainted part of the computer case. This will prevent the buildup of electrostatic electricity from your body. Open the case, computer case and remove the side panel then lift the panel away from the computer case. There are different ways of opening the cases depending on the manufacturer. So make sure to check the manual before handling the system case. All of the devices that have been installed will be needed to disconnect from the power supply, motherboard, and the device. Disconnect all the cable inside from the 24 pins ATX power connector, followed by the 4 pin 12 volts power connector. And then remove all the SATA power connectors. To remove the power supply, the system can should have a large box of power supply is installed. There should be screwed that the hold the power supplies to the case. Unscrew this bolt from the power supply and put them in a box so that you can misplace one misplace them. Remove the power supply by sliding it out. To remove the optical drive, look for the drive bay, usually the located upper portion of the system case. Unscrew the bolt that holds the optical drive to the system case. Slide out the optical drive. The system case should have hard drive bay where the hard disk is placed. Unscrew the bolt that holds the hard disk on the hard drive bay. Unmount the slide the hard disk out. To remove the motherboard, unscrew the bolt in the stand ops that they screw your motherboard on the side of the system case. Afterwards, the motherboard should come loose from the system case. To the RAM, look for the memory slot on the motherboard. The RAM stick should be in the slot. On the both sides of the slot, unlock the top by pulling them out slowly. Place your fingers slightly on the top of the stick to support the RAM when it is released. The RAM stick should slot out of the place and be easily removed. To put the CPU, pull out the rod that lock the CPU and the heat sink to be mounted tops. Put the CPU pan away. Next, lift the metal rod next to the CPU socket that holds the CPU. To take note the arrow that point to a corner of the processor to be its socket. To take the CPU carefully from the socket and immediately return it once you notice the specifications. Once you disassemble all the components, you can write now the details of each component in an inventory form. Computer Assembly Prepare all the materials needed for the computer assembly. 
These are the tools needed to follow. First, place the electrostatic mat on the work table. Put an electrostatic wrap around its strap. Put around the wrist and connect up the end to unpainted part of the computer case. To this will prevent the build up of a static warm power body. Open the computer case, remove the slide panel, lift them the panel from the computer case. This will prevent you by opening the case short. So opening the manual. Before installing the CPU, make sure to check the brand specification of the hour processor. Clean the CPU pan and the heat sink will with a brush. Lift the metal rod next to the CPU socket and the CPU should have marked the corner that designated where it should be placed on the socket. Carefully insert the CPU lining on its marking. Push the rod down to the lock of the processor into the place. Following the instruction provided, place the small amount of the thermal pound on the CPU and the heat sink. Take the CPU pan and align it in the mounting tabs. The pan should have the rod to the CPU socket. Screw the CPU pan to the motherboard. Pull down this rod to lock the pan into the place. Make sure the plate is the pan power connected to the motherboard. To install the RAM, look for the memory slot on the motherboard. The RAM stick should fit according to the slot. Gently push the RAM from the both end until it clicks into the place of the memory slot. The tab should lock the RAM into it. Next, the motherboard installed by screwing stand up into the place. This will screw your motherboard on the side of the system case. Screw according and align with the I.O. bezel. To install a hard disk, the system case should have the hard drive bay, where the hard disk is placed. Motherboard hard drive slide into the place until they screw and align up to the both hard disk and the case. Screw them tightly. To install the optical drive, look for the drive bay, usually located at the upper portion of the system case. From the outside, simply slide the optical drive into the place until they screw the hole and align into the from the both optical drive and the case. Screw them tightly. To install the power supply, the system case should have a large box where the power supply is installed. This is usually deeper depending on the brand. Align the hole as you mounted into the both case and the power supply. Then screw them tightly. Finally, connect all the cables inside. All of the devices that have been installed needed to connect it from the power supply.
Carefully read the manual that had come in your case and motherboard. As usually, there has information on how to proper place the cables. Connect the system unit on the monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Upon turning on the computer, press the key that would run, and most of the computer it should be read either delete key F2 and F3. In the BIOS, you will be able to different devices that are connected. This means that you have assembled the computer properly and can you can now process the configuring BIOS installed and operating system.